In many cases, the performance of a machine learning model depends on the quality and the amount of the labeled data. Let's take a deep learning model as an example. With a trend of increasing layers, more data are needed for the training of the deeper models. But the question is how could we get such large amount of data, and also guaranteeing their labeling qualities? The first question is how do we collect large amount of data? Many people would recommend using cross-sourcing. Let's take a look at this toy example of using cross-sourcing on Amazon Mechanic Turk for cat labeling. Given an example that is very easy, such as these kittens, most of the online workers would give the correct labels easily. However, if this image requires some domain knowledge for the annotation, the large variation of worker labeling abilities will be reflected on their labels as well. This fact will bring many difficulties for aggregating cross-sourcing labels. To deal with this problem, currently there are two main research directions. The first group of approaches tend to give lower weights for the weak workers, but give higher votes for the good ones. The second group of researchers are working on designing better incentive schemes. However, they all omitted one important fact. That is, human beings are extremely good at learning a specific task, and they can easily transfer the learned task into similar learning tasks. What if you could teach the workers learn to label? Isn't it a more effective way of utilizing cross-sourcing? With the help of our teaching framework Jedi, you can do it. The main idea is to perform machine teaching on those workers. But first, what is machine teaching? The general definition of machine teaching says that it is the inverse problem of machine learning. Unlike the most machine learning systems, machine teaching requires the target model to be given in advance and the goal is to find the optimal set of training examples. So, the next question is what is JEDI? In this work, JEDI is short for Adjustable Exponential Decayed Memory Interactive Core Teaching. Interactive Core Teaching means our framework could interactively teach the concept to the learners. By decayed memory, it means that we made the assumption that the learners were gradually forgetting things they have learned. Exponentially means that the memory decay follows the trend of an exponential curve. At last, by the adjustable, it means each learner will get a personalized teaching set that is specially designed for her. Here is a simple example of the interactive teaching framework. First, the teacher will recommend a teaching example to the learner and ask the learner to give an answer. Then the learner will provide her label prediction on this example. Next, the teacher will reveal the true labels to the learner. The learner could confirm her answer by seeing the true labels, or sometimes the examples are difficult to label. The learner could also learn from their mistakes. The main idea of a JEDI is the trade-off between the teaching usefulness and the teaching diversity. In each teaching iteration, JEDI assumes a gradient descent-based learner is learning towards the target concept W star by maximizing the usefulness of the next teaching example and also increasing the diversity of the teaching sequence. Given the current teaching example xt-1, if the next teaching example xt had the same label as the xt-1, we call it exploitation action. If xt has a different label as xt-1, we call it exploration. One nice property of JEDI shows that if xt-1 is not a useful teaching example, then JEDI will select a highly different example xt for exploitation. Or JEDI will select a highly similar example xt for exploration, because it is potentially more useful than other examples. Thank you for watching. For more details regarding JEDI, please make sure to check our paper. We also released our source code and web demo, so you can have a try.